Oh, that's my David. Nothing but the best. Yes, is this the front desk? This is Vanessa Bennett, Dr. David Hayward's mother. I've been trying to reach my son without any luck at all. Do you happen to have a forwarding number for him, or...? No? You have no idea where he is. <laughs> I'm right here. Mother. David? Is it healed? Are you all right? <laughs> Where have you been, David? How did you get in here? I have been so worried about you. After what Erica did to you, which was appalling. How did you get into my room, Mother? Joan let me in. Joan? Your chambermaid, darling. <laughs> you really should get to know the service people around here. Joan's been such a comfort to me. Since Erica kicked you out. Is that what she said? Among other things. Oh. My, that sounds um, ominous, dear. Well, there's no telling what Erica might say. She's been so distracted and erratic these days. I mean, look what she did to you. I mean, threatening a surgeon's hands. Well, what did you say? That you told her that I was the one responsible for my father's death. Surely you don't think I would say that. But you did say it, didn't you? Look, darling, Erica and I have discussed many, many things. I'm sure it's, it's, it's easy for her to misconstrue something, given the state she's been in. Erica is as lucid as I am. David, why are you so quick to take her side? She doesn't even know you, darling. She can't possibly understand you the way you I You don't understand anything but your own needs. All right. It's so easy for you to belittle me because I tug at your heart's Oh, please. No! You have always hated anything that has to do with feelings. But look, David, I respect that. You and I are close, darling, because we share a great tragedy in our lives. But what on earth makes you think that I would ever betray you after all these years? You told Erica that I was the one that killed my father. David, I will always protect you. I will always be on your side. I almost think you actually believe that. Of course I believe that. I'm your mother. If I killed my father, did it ever occur to you that I might as well kill you? Of course, I always do forget what a flair for the dramatic you have, David. I mean, always begging... The limelight, I mean, even as a, as a young child, you were the loudest, screamiest child in the crib, you know, always having to get the last word. You were never around me when I was a baby. I was a very attentive mother. Don't push me, mother. One of these days, I'm going to push you back. Mother's still in town. Doctor, I need a consult. Regarding? A malignance. My mother. One and the same. My, my, Janet, a metaphor. Mrs. Dillon is a keen diagnostician. Thank you, Doctor. So I guess you concur. The only option is to operate. Oh, indeed. Surgical removal of this cancer is the only way we can bring Pine Valley back to health. Johnny, Sarno, and Venus. And the Steel character fell for it. Well, until he met the real Trevor and Janet. <laughs> yes, your mother, she's a real piece of work. Mm. She'd actually hooked up with this scum Steel and was writing a tell-all book about Erica Kane. Oh, but thanks to you, Trevor and Brooke, the guy is gone. I guess that fake blood looked pretty real. <laughs> You're off your game, Mother. Usually it takes months for people to figure out your devious little schemes. How could you possibly believe this? Face really? it, Ma. The jig's up. You're busted, Covers Vanessa. blown. Do like the lady says and get out of Dodge. 
Oh, and this time, pay your own bills, would you? Oh. <gasps> How can you possibly believe this? <laughs> you know, David, one day you are going to need me and you're going to regret this cavalier dismissal. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, but enough chat. I have patience to see Janet, mother. Oh, and mother, don't bother leaving a forwarding address. I'm cutting back on my Christmas list. Janet, can I offer you a ride? That would be so kind of you, Doctor. Thank you. Good. You and Trevor and I should get together sometime real soon for dinner. Leave it on the chair with the rest of the mail, Miss Carroll. I'll get to it as soon as I wait through this. You're not leaving until you tell me what's going on between you and Adam Chandler. 